Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Education technology firm Edufocal has entered a loan agreement with Mayberry Investments. The company has borrowed 200 million Jamaican dollars with seven years to repay. Edufocal says the loan, which was finalized last week, will be used to pay off debt and to refinance existing facilities. It will also be used for working capital and expansion. The loan's interest rate will be at a fixed rate of 9.5% per year for the first two years. The facility will then attract a variable rate on the reducing balance method. Edifocal will repay the loan quarterly. The local economy grew at a slower pace than initially projected in the second quarter of 2022. The Statistical Institute of Jamaica says for the April to June period, real value added in the economy grew by 4.8% compared with the same period in 2021. The growth was lower than the 5.7% projection in August by the Planning Institute of Jamaica. Statin says the quarter's GDP performance was influenced by a 7.2% jump in output from the services industries, with all eight groups seeing improvements. Hotels and restaurants led the group. Growth was influenced by the discontinuation of measures under the Disaster Risk Management Order, the expiration of the COVID-19 pretest requirement for travel to Jamaica, and the reopening of the entertainment sector. Gross domestic product for the goods-producing industries, however, declined by 2% in the April to June quarter. This was due to a 63% decline in mining and quarrying and a 5.2% drop in construction activities. Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, Kristalina Georgieva, says some countries could fall into recession in 2023. She says it is, however, possible to avoid a global recession if governments adopt fiscal policies that are in line with tightening monetary policy. Ms. Georgieva says since the cost of living is severely affecting some segments of society, the fiscal policy cannot remain idle as monetary policy is tightened. She adds that governments must be more prudent in social programs to ensure a balance. Following the U.S. Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes, governments around the world have supported their populations amidst high food prices. Those decisions have sent shockwaves in some economies. George Eva called on the Federal Reserves to be mindful of the impact on the rest of the world. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $152.79. $112.09 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $172.68 for the pound, while it's costing $151.83 for the euro. And to the stock market now, the JSE index fell by 990 points today, while the junior market index lost 22 points. Among the winners, Epley 7.5% preference shares, 138 Student Living Jamaica, Consolidated Bakeries Jamaica, ISP Finance Services and T-Tech. On the losing side were Trans-Jamaican Highway, Margaritaville Turks, KLE Group, Paramount Trading Jamaica and QWI Investments. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.